Greetings, signs and moons. We're going to go ahead and get into clarifying this energy. Okay. So I'm being guided to tell you to never give up on your dreams. Okay. Um, never give up on yourself. Okay. Um, if you haven't checked out part one, please do so. Somebody sees you as stubborn. Are you seeing someone else as stubborn? They were blocked off here. This person was in this energy of rebuilding, but also they were with a karmic individual learning lessons. Okay. They felt trapped. This is someone that was very fearful here. They were fearful of their money. They wanted a new opportunity, but they felt stuck. They also had someone that was very manipulative or you were this manipulative person with this magician card being here on the fence. Somebody was trying to manifest someone stay in this toxic cycle, in this commitment, in this job, in this energy of self-sacrifice. OK, I feel like somebody had to go within because they were sacrificing their wants, their needs, their livelihood, their mission, their calling for some Someone else simply because someone wanted to be taken care of. Okay. Now, with the Saturn energy sticking out, this is giving me the energy of um, someone that likes to be the breadwinner. Okay. They like to be the breadwinner, so they figured, hey, I got a family, okay, or I signed this contract, I have to stick it out. With the three of wands being here, somewhere along the line, somebody's plans fell apart, okay? This is giving me somebody going through a Saturn return age and them having to pay dues, Okay. Now, if this person was an upstanding citizen, they tried their best, not saying that they were perfect here and they were with the karmic, they were taking on the energy of the, um, of a karmic. Now, somebody put in the, in the comment section that you can't take on nobody else's karma. And this is what I mean by limited perspective. This is why I like to have a membership because people only see things as far as they see themselves. When I'm talking about taking on someone's karma, you are taking on someone's responsibility because you are there. Okay, you're playing martyr, you're playing uh, self-sacrifice, and usually it's only, I mean, you're self-sacrificing, and usually it's only because your ego is in the way. You have something to prove, okay, to other people, to, uh, you know, people around you with Saturn being here. Now, this person may, um, you know... This is giving me the energy of somebody that likes to fulfill their contracts. They don't want to be, they don't want to lose at something. Okay. However, somebody got sick in this scenario or somebody's getting sick because it's time for them to move forward. With a message from air being here, somebody delivered a message um, or they text somebody or something like that, and it caused somebody to be in this energy of grief, anxiety, okay? Because somebody put their boundaries up. This could also be somebody being physically injured, and they can no longer do something. They can no longer commit to something as well. I feel like you were being protected from this energy. Yeah, somebody's fighting the uphill battle, and they are in regret. If this is someone that stooped to sorcery, to block you or stop you that is definitely showing up in their environment. And if this is someone that they are still committed to, this may be the reason why this person is getting sick. All right. I keep hearing no means no. So this person is being restricted. They feel restricted. But with Saturn being here, this is definitely somebody that's being restricted here. Okay. Because they had to learn boundaries. Okay, discipline. This is structure. Saturn is the father figure. That this is the, you know, it's a character builder. <laughs> is what I'm uh, what I'm trying to get to. It's about developing standards. Okay, 
And this is what was taking place. If you are around someone and you don't, then I can understand if you are in a commitment, you want to take care of your family or, or whatever. But this is someone that they were over giving. So it wasn't it wasn't balanced. This will be someone that will go to work and they come home. They have to clean the house, take care of the children, mow the lawn, fix the car, fix the what? I mean, and somebody just sat on a on a behind and did nothing. This is what this is giving me. I mean, you know, we're talking about equal give and take, right? With the six of pentacles. Um, six, a lot of sixes. I just noticed that. So we're definitely talking about stability or lack thereof. Okay. Somebody was very compassionate, but they were also dealing with someone that was superficial, self-righteous. Okay. So this was, this was somebody's opposite and they were with this person to learn a lesson. We have growing and create. This is giving me the pen is mightier than the sword. Okay. So this is about a contract. Okay. This is somebody writing their thoughts down, trying to manifest as well. Okay. This could be a diary. Somebody, something was possibly written down and somebody got wind of it. Okay. Well, here we go again with all this red. So somebody has bad health. Okay. Lack of stability. This is um, somebody that is in survival mode. Um, they're always in survival mode. And, you know, some people may see that as a good thing, but it, it doesn't register as good when we talk about frequency and being in alignment uh, with the planet. OK, survival mode means you can't trust someone. They're out for themselves. They're always going to attract lessons and never really learn from them. Somebody wants to apologize, but there's deception surrounding this apology is what I'm getting. Yeah. So somebody's worried about their reputation with opening being here. This person may be trying to think of a way <clears throat> to get this person to come back or for you to come back. Why is the six of earth here? Mm, that longing card keeps coming out. So, yeah. Um, so this is somebody that will play on your sympathy. This is somebody's going to say, I hurt myself. Um, something's wrong with the baby, the car. This, it's, it's always something to keep somebody doubtful or keep somebody stuck or fearful of moving on. All right. Um, they want your emotions to be all out of whack and somebody wants to move away from that. They're tired or you're tired of investing um, in something that's not fulfilling. OK, I feel like this is a partnership that has a lot of karmic debt, possibly a lot of physical debt as well. This is um, unrequited love. OK, this is struggle. Love is also what I'm getting. Um, <clears throat> receptiveness, why is this here? Let new adventures begin. Yeah, so somebody had to stop people pleasing. They were too busy worried about what others was was thinking. This is also someone that gets real angry, agitated, and, and aggressive when they don't get what they want. So this is giving me the energy of somebody that lives beyond their means with the eighth house. Um, and clarifying that is receptiveness. And then we have today is a good day for a good day in reverse. Somebody is fancy AF. Okay, they don't care the... Um, they don't care about the repercussions of their actions. They don't care because they don't have to work hard for it. OK, it's somebody else's money that they're spending here. OK, depression. Why is this here? Well, three of wands. Why is the three of wands here in reverse, please? Hmm, somebody got tricked. OK, or somebody feels like they missed out on the oppor opportunities. Definitely could be a 12 year 
uh, cycle someone was in, a 12-year marriage, 19, five years, okay, um, yeah, and, <laughs> man, I ain't even going to say when I flipped over this card what, <clears throat> what I felt, <laughs> we got judged by 12 or carried by six, <laughs> Um, so somebody's mad, they all gas, no breaks, they went in. They went in because somebody no longer wanted to partner uh, with them or this person didn't want to partner with you or you didn't want to partner with this person, okay? Somebody's plans fell apart because you grew out of this situation. You started nurturing yourself. You started paying more attention to your surroundings is also what I'm getting. You're also in this energy of enjoying yourself, right? Um, like, I feel like previously you were very worried about what somebody, what somebody else was going to do, what somebody else, <laughs> um, how somebody else was going to live. <clears throat> okay. And that card flipped right over. Well, mistakes are proof that you are trying. We got you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. So somebody tried to play you for a fool. I feel like somebody came in or, um, and, and said, look, don't do this. Um, you shouldn't do that. Okay. Um, and I, I'm here in court of public opinion. Okay, so somebody had all the ideas and opinions about your life, what you should commit to, and you completed that cycle. And somebody's depressed here, all right? Um, you may be entertaining, or this person is entertaining another karmic. Mm. Um, or they dealt with one, and they closed the cycle. Take it how it resonates. We got uh, balance, harmony, wisdom, a leader, and time to step up. So I feel like this 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 karmic energy brought out um damn depression, sickness, sadness, illness and somebody just is like look I can't I can't take it no more. Um this is like a very melancholy, drowsy um possibly always intoxicated, always mad. This is a Debbie Downer type of uh energy. So somebody embarked on a change with five 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 here. Most definitely. One more for depression. So I feel like you're going forward. Uh you may be more open to positive experiences, creating your own reality. However, this person, they, I don't know what their change is going to be. Why is depression here? This person that hasn't learned the lesson is going to come out like that. Mm, yeah, cold-blooded. Yeah, yeah. We got uh, the illusion of beauty, void of heart, lung, or brain. Um, maintain balance. Yeah. Because somebody wants to throw you off. Trust your heart and follow your own emotions, not uh, someone else's emotions. Again, I feel like whoever you were around or this person was around was making them sick, like like physically ill with problems sleeping, intense emotions, satanic rituals, SEX, magic, and vampires. Uh, insanity, okay? So somebody may be realizing somebody has bad health, mental health, physical health, spiritual health, as well as financial health because they don't know um, boundaries here. Um, I'm hearing something about a budget. Like this person doesn't know how to budget or they don't want to live on a budget or something like that. Um, we got class A. So... You could be a class uh, A driver, or I mean, you may have a class A license, excuse me, or you operate heavy duty machinery. Um, somebody may want you to go back and forth. Somebody could live in a mobile home, camper, minivan. I don't know. You could be traveling as well. We have the dominions, the dominion angels. We're talking about lordships that regulate the duties of the lower angels, right? 
So those are the angels that commission the angels under them to go to work here. Okay. And when I see that card, that tells me somebody did spell work. So somebody's trying to create an opportunity. They could be using the laws of uh, attraction, 369 or something like that to get someone to come back. I feel like somebody's on a trip, though. I'm, this person could be moving away or they may be wanting to come back. I don't know. Why does this class say here? Somebody could be take, get, like, taking a test also. Like, yeah, somebody's getting an advancement or an upgrade or they being initiated into something new. Why is Pearl here? Could be somebody's uh, husband or son. We got a series of events that play out through time. Over planning ends the magic. <sighs> this is giving me the energy of somebody that has a book or an artist or um, a song and they <clears throat> want to, you know, they, maybe they had the song for years or they have a, a, um, a canvas and they started painting it and they didn't finish. Like, this is like something that's not complete. So, yeah, somebody wants to complete something, possibly, again, get some sort of advancement or upgrade, become a professional as something here. Somebody could be taking a test. You may have to travel to another state, city. Um, somebody could get a, like a chef license or something like that. Why is the six of earth here before I get out of here? Yeah, we got the high priest. It's on the fence. So this person is going through some form of ascension here. We got um, your mind's eye. A light Okay, we're talking about light. So this could be like extreme downloads, um, headaches, energy transference because somebody wants you to come back to them or they, maybe, they, maybe they did some spell work, maybe even evil eye. Universal Life Force Source wants you to know you made the right choice. Somebody's cousin is involved and that's been coming out a lot lately. This person feels like they have unfinished business. OK, I feel like this is a third party, somebody that you left that's watching you, possibly watching the person that you want to go to or trying to like check and see where you're going so they can meet you there. Or uh, if you're getting a new job, they want to call and sabotage it or something like that, because we got if you didn't watch me with evil intent, it wouldn't be mirrored back in your life on top of the high priest here. I feel like somebody is panicking because whatever they did is not working. Yes, they could be they could have their sisters and girlfriends and mamas and babies and mamas and mamas helping them as well. We got divine masculine next to some more masculine energy. So this is telling me that this person ascended. Okay. Um they may have to tame the beast within. So this person tamed their feminine energy. This is someone, um, they may be realizing someone from their past. It could be an ex of theirs, an ex of yours, or two different people. Somebody may have been in a natural disaster and or this person was trying to create havoc in your environment or this person's environment. Okay. There may have been a fisticuff here or... Um, somebody wants to fight you or somebody's worried about a fight. Somebody coming to their job, to their home. We just got, you know, using different accounts, pretending to be someone else, possibly but to be to but, uh, pretending to be you. OK, this could be someone that is pretending to be the person that left them to sabotage them. Right. OK, we got. um does spell work around different moon cycles and this person plays a lot of games with the black queen in reverse this person um whoever this is they did a lot for this individual whether if it's male or female you did a lot for this person they resent that they're not able to control you control what you create control what you invest in and this is just a, a learning curve is what i'm getting okay so be kind to yourself whoever you are all right.
And only manifest good things. <clears throat> don't manifest from a place of what you don't want. Manifest from a place of how you will feel if, uh, when you receive all your heart's content. Okay? Deuces.